All right, well, now that we're fully moved in, I'm going to give you a little better idea of what we're up to. Plus, I want to uh, take the opportunity to show you around the latest Bronco prior to delivery. So here we are in the uh, main shop section. I guess we might as well do a little tour. So, uh, you know, I have TLC and Icon, and we share the same space, although the technicians and uh, managers are unique to each. So this is uh, a nice FJ62 that we're building right now. Get a feel of the fit and finish quality, at least on the bottom side. This is a pretty unique truck in that what we've done is take a uh, 89 FJ62 body and then engineer its placement upon a mildly modified 97 FZJ80 chassis. Now we're in the process of uh, reuniting the two and doing the restoration details. Here's uh, another FJ44 in progress. Here's a nice FJ43 we're building for a local client, yay. Because oddly enough, uh, a lot of our trucks leave us, they go far, far away. But uh, get a little brief feel here for the details. Everything's all plumbed in CAD CAM pull bent stainless, DOM steel, all US made, mandrel bent, Atlas 2T case, 4L65, GM 53LS. Particular trucks running my six piston sport brakes, which you can kind of see peeking through there. I can get a better feel for it back here. Really nice brake system from our dear friends at Stop Tech. We're very proud of them. So this truck's in what we call the roller phase, meaning right now we're building the roller, so the rolling chassis. And then when that's done, we'll chill and we'll wait for the body to finish, get the body out of the oven, powder coat it and move on. Here's another FJ44, pretty close to the end of its build process. Here's another one of our new Bronco programs. This truck is obviously still in the build progress process. Here you can see a little bit of neatness up here. We do uh, extensive use of Dynamat on these trucks. It controls the noise and vibration. You can see my back bumper design, class two receiver, single pivoting carrier, fuel and exhaust. Exhaust is all ceramic coated stainless steel, all mandrel bent. See the tail light, uh, or rather the tail light guards and side marker guards. This particular client wanted a little bit more shiny stuff than we normally do. So you'll notice that the door handles, as well as the Ranger package trim, is uh, all polished. This gray is a little bit different than the last two gray icons, Broncos that is. Come on, focus. There we go. I haven't put the inner fenders in yet, so you can see a little bit of uh, mechanical details here. Also, the underside of the body, as with uh, all icons, is coated in heat-cured polyurea. Here you can see the uh, Johnny joints we utilize in the suspension. Stay away from Heinz joints, too much radiant vibration. These Johnnies, uh, named after John Curry, good friend of ours, excellent engineer. Really super durable. Here you see the Dana 60 Pro Rock Dynatrack high pinion rear axle. Let me get down a little bit here. On my exhaust system, another little geek out detail. I hate flanges and gaskets, they're just a pain. So we use these cool, uh, they're called V groove clamps. So they're all stainless steel and they're actually uh, originally designed for aircraft uh, and turbo systems. Good stuff. You can see. Uh, we make our tranny mount an integral brace for lateral support. It also becomes a skid plate. Uh, here's that brake system again. The biggest rotors any Bronco's ever seen for sure. Uh, the engine we leave all in uh, factory trim with the uh, exception of the headers. We make our own headers because the factory ones wouldn't fit unfortunately. Here's another Bronco chassis. 
This one's uh, just all lined up, waiting to go. It's pretty much ready for the body. See some nice detail work there. I'm coming a little closer and show it off. So you can see the AeroQuip plumbing that we run instead of the cheap stuff. Working with our friends at Fox Racing and Eibach for our suspension components. Again, some more detail of the quality of the Art Morrison chassis, as well as all the CAD CAM, pull bent, stainless steel plumbing and hardware. No gas tank in this one yet. Coming soon. All right, then uh, what else do we have? Here's uh, another Bronco. This one's gonna be pretty cool. It's in a kind of unique color that uh, we mixed up. It's like a burnt orange with uh, nanoparticles of metallic with a matte clear. So it has a really interesting surface sheen. It's kind of trippy. Definitely an opinion color. Personally, I dig it. Client does too, so I guess that's all that matters. So this tub recently came out of the oven after getting the polyurea substrate. This stage in the process, we're plumbing the wiring harness and doing finer solder connections. You can see the mass of wires that go. Really nice uh, custom system we're doing with our friends at Vintage Air for heat vent and AC. Much more evolved than what you'll traditionally see in these old Broncos. You can see the uh, laser cut stainless steel side panels with uh, laser cut aluminum for the trim. All the hardware, it's aircraft grade stainless. Down below we have Chilowich inserts. And we've got these cool diodes that are cast into a stainless half round. We get those actually from the uh, offshore racing boat world. Those guys have some really cool stuff. There's a little peek inside. You'll see that both the back side of these panels as well as the inner of the quarter panel not only coated in the heat cured polyurea but then dynamat and then this non-absorbent uh, batting will go in there as well. All right, I think I'm getting towards the uh, maximum quota from uh, our buddies at YouTube on video length, so I better hurry up. Here's another Bronco chassis. There's one of our FJ40 icons. This will be a new school. It's still in raw metal. This is the mock fit stage. Here's a recently completed uh, Baja edition FJ40 icon. Nice truck. This truck came out really cool. We actually did it more like a new school. So it looks like a Baja, but it's more refined for street use, but it has the chrome alibellum cage and all the other cool Baja details. Sexy truck. More on this later. This is gonna be a really cool project we're doing with our friends at Gale Banks. We're taking a 65 D200 power wagon, restoring it in the Icon Reformer style. And it's actually built on a modern Mega Cab 3500 series Dodge. And then Gale's gonna monkey with it and give it about 800 foot-pounds of torque. Hee <laughs> hee. Here's another 44. Here's our simple little machine shop area. And then this is where we do all the TLC brand service. Uh, we're also working on uh, just starting this bitchin' little 40 Ford Coupe. 2,000 original miles, original paint. And then uh, here's some ladies in waiting. Pretty wide variety of vehicles. And there you go.